Hello! Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and we're back with another special guest, the Ambassador! You saw him in my <laughs> Universal City Walk video. Ambassador, shout yourself out. Hey, what's good, Theme Park Wizard? Um, yeah, it's nice to see you again. It's been since Universal, since we've seen each other. We've, we've, been, we've, we've been able to, like, message each other back and forth, but good to see you again. Yeah, I'm... I'm the ambassador, I, I host a, a, a channel called Theme Park ERT. And sometimes we do roundtables, sometimes we do updates, sometimes we just do weird things. But uh, <laughs> it's, me, it's me and my partner, uh, a, a guy by the name of uh, John, Days Can Blaze. He's a business partner and um, he can't join us today, unfortunately. But yeah, he's the other half. So glad, glad to be here, man. What's up? What's, what's going on with you? Glad to have you. And the link to his channel is below. Check it oh. out subscribe we're like competing in subscribers just kidding we're not we're just we're pretty close actually. <laughs> yeah we're like yeah you pop we're like only like 20 away that's pretty close well here's the thing if you're watching this and you're not subscribed to theme park wizard yet subscribe to to ethan come on and then you can consider subscribing to ours i guess but let's let's get let's get ethan going come on now Yes, but you have to subscribe to them because they have Parks Bros and Theme Park Obsession on their channel, and who doesn't like those people? Uh, <laughs> you had a Dylan, yeah, 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 Dylan on your channel, yeah, yeah, multiple times. Yeah, yeah, actually, um, yeah, I've had them both on my channel. Uh, Dylan, I was able to do a one-on-one -on -one interview with him, um, as well as have him on one of our roundtables. Uh, Parks Bros, Drew, we've been able to get him on a roundtable, but not one-on-one -on -one yet. Because COVID-19. <laughs> yes, Tim, yes. I was on that round table. That was a good round. That's right. And you were our guest as well. Oh, you were on that same one with Drew. That's right. Yeah, with Amusement Insiders yeah. and all those that was cool a, people. That was a fun one. So, <laughs> so Anthemon released those coaster concepts. I hope you saw them. I did. It was awesome. Four of them. And they're all single rails. Look at that. They said, arms, yeah. you want to stick it to you. <laughs> so well, which one is your favorite? Huh? Well, I think the my one that's my 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 favorite. Oh my gosh, it's kind of hard to say. Um, uh, probably the Raptor West Coast Racers one. Oh but yeah, <laughs> only because I was like, that's West Coast Racers. I was like, I'll tell you why. Um, you know, Intamin's my favorite uh, coaster manufacturer, bar none. I I just think that they do crazy wild things, and I like what they do. And you know, we thought that Pantheon was coming after RMC with some of those same elements and stuff like that. But they just stepped up their game and said, okay, yeah, we're going to do single rail now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a single rail. And we're going to make it West Coast racer style. And then the, yeah. uh, one of them has a like a inverted launch. I think that's pretty cool. That that's a cool launch. idea. That's a really cool idea. It's, it's funny because when you hear about those type of things, you go, why? Yeah, you know, that's right. That hasn't been done yet. It seems like it'd be something that would have been done already. It's like, mm -hmm. you, you know, and it's, leave it to Intamin to do it because I mean they have those um intimate uh what are those called oh st um, 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 um Intamin not Blitz um like like uh like the Flash V and V2 those, oh yeah what are they called accelerator models no I can't remember what it's called those, but um yeah I know but, what you're talking about I forgot what it's called yeah and so those those are pretty close to sort of that's another thing but I'm super stoked to to try, I mean, I'll tell you why I like the, the, the West Coast Racer single rail one the best because having been on West Coast Racers, I, I really enjoy, you know, what that ride is and, and, and the interaction just makes, makes for a ride. And having also been on a single rail coaster like Railblazer, mm -hmm. I know now that you can make some of those interactions way tighter. Um, and I love intimate launches. Intimate launches are like, like the best. So I don't know. I think it'll be really fun. What do you? What's your favorite one? My favorite. Let's see. I liked uh, all of them, but man, you know, because because no, I'm a Southern California guy, and then I um I always thought Perilous Plunge at Knott's Berry Farm was the coolest ah. thing. <laughs> when I saw that that newer version, that Giga Splash, I was like, yeah. whoa, that's Perilous Plunge in the single rail version. It's got to come back. So yeah. I'm just hoping not Bay Farm Cedar Fair says, you know what, instantly want that one, and then just puts it right in the same spot as Tales Plunge before. Abby's like such a, like because you know they did like Knott's Berry Tales, so if they continue that throwback thing, 
right. they tear, tear down Coach plunge. Rider. Tear it yeah. down. Put back a perilous plunge. Call exactly. it perilous plunge. Twisted perilous plunge. No, that's a six bag thing. Call it uh, iron. You can oh. put like um, steel perilous <laughs> plunge extreme or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like and I like the fact that they've made it a little bit different. Where it's like you know, with perilous plunge. It was like you know, it had the 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 I don't know what you call it the flume that had uh -huh. like the crazy water going down. This yeah. is because it's a single roll. Just it's basically just a waterfall. They just have water. Yeah, going, looks, yeah, whatever. I'm still wondering how does that work? Because it looked like in the animation, the waterfall was just in the air. I'm like, how's how's that? Well, they work? probably just have piping, right? And then they just I pump guess. the water yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, I guess that. Because it I doesn't need looks, to ride a flume. It doesn't. It just yeah. track. Oh, that's so, cool. so it's kind of weird, kind of cool. It's like a, it's like a I ghost waterfall. It just kind of just it just appears out of nowhere. Also, that that that's the same one that it's kind of tasty to like little like the rock work and stuff right before you yes to hit. Like, i was like that's like cool the... too yeah it's not just like straight up straight down you kind of kind of get to float a little bit and then well they have a water coaster that's like that very you know very similar water coaster um model already it's like that kind of they have one at energy landing and stuff like that where it has like the the elevator lift to kind of oh yeah whatever. i've seen that one so it just seems like it's an elev it's just like an evolution of their of their current model but uh, i i like that that it twists going up that's really really cool and yeah that the single rail i mean it will make it so it's like i don't know it's leave it to intimate i i i, I love those guys <laughs> how so. do you think uh rmc feels i like oh they took my single rail concept <laughs> Uh, I don't think that there's probably as much of a beef as you think. Um, just knowing, you know, what I know of like Shilky and um, uh, Fred Grubb and stuff like that, mm -hmm. I think that they feel validated. Oh, like, like, wow, my concept was so great that now other people are starting to use it, like, yeah, like honor. Because, because like, you know, they just started from, like, obviously they feel validated and they've had some really successful you know coasters with their conversions and things like that and mm -hmm. um you know th that they're really popular they're like probably the hottest asset in the amusement industry right now mm -hmm. rmc is and they so they already have that validation but then to have an old school og original you know manufacturer kind of go wait a minute you know what you're doing is awesome enough for us to steal and they, they really say like like imitation is the sincerest form of flattery so mm -hmm. I, I think they love it i mean i'm sure they also had their lawyers look at some patent <laughs> <laughs> some patent uh, disputes but at, but you know i think all in all i think it's just good for the industry you know i mean you know it's like i mean did anybody get mad at b&m for stealing vacoma's flying coaster model mm -mm, you know? they made it better. made it better right and, yeah. and you know and vacoma just stole aerodynamics designs do you know what i mean so it's like mm -hmm. i think it's great I, I i think this is going to really push um the limits and i i don't think rmc will be scared i think that they're going to be more like awesome bring it on we're going to mm -hmm. nice now we'll have more motivation now yeah, they have more motivation to make the t-rex <laughs> exactly yeah where is the where are the t-rexes man right what brings to the next question which u.s theme park do you think will take one of the first like which intimate con which one of these intimate concepts we implemented at which u.s theme park do you think and then which one? Oh yeah ah that's a good point um you know i would love it for it to go to a six five i said we wanted to go to magic mountain right bring yeah. all four of them to magic mountain we'll take Just it a boom, 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 boom. but you know there's always that weird rumor and always that thing that every enthusiast talks about how like you know Intamin doesn't have a good relationship with Six Flags and Six Flags doesn't have a good relationship with Intamin. I don't know. Is that true? Get in the comments. I, I don't know. I you always hear it every single time. But look, let's bury the hatchet and let's move forward. But, I, but realistically, I probably, I don't know, maybe King's Dominion. King's Dominion has got space. They have got room now for oh, yeah, they have a bunch big, of stuff. Yeah. Well, Although there was track just shown on the at their storage lot but so maybe they don't have as much space as they as we thought but i think king's dominion would be a good spot and which model um maybe maybe that one um maybe not the one that was dueling but the, the single rail one that oh the one with the inverted launch i mean that that inverted that looked like a skyrocket 
Well, oh, wait, no, that was a single rail. No, that's a that's, smaller that's, one. No, yeah, I'm talking about the, 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 the single rail one that's like kind of like the biggest one of, out of all of them. Oh, yeah, the one that was like non dueling, but it was like a mobile loop, I think. Yeah, yeah. I and, think. But it had like, like, it had like overbank turns and like, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, it had that really interesting what they call the wall ride or whatever like that. that yeah, that, well, yeah, that massive. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. that could go good there. Uh, I also think that, you know, the, their Skyrocket 2 clone. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe like a smaller park somewhere. Maybe like, um, oh, what, why not? Well, I'll just throw it out there. Why not Michigan's Adventure? They need something. Oh, yeah, they never get anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> never anything. Poor man. I feel like the park might just close. <laughs> they never yeah. get any, or get sold off somewhere, especially after yeah. this whole thing. Wow. But, yeah, I think that's, that's some good predictions. I think in, um, <laughs> at least for here, I say, if if not in Six Flags would get one of the two. I not to definitely get the perilous pun right thing. Six Flags, ooh. I can't say the first one because that's two West Coast. They, then they have like they'd have three West Coast racers, twisted colossus type coasters, so not the first. But maybe the wall ride one would kind of they have six flags have enough space for that. Or if they want something smaller, they can do that inverted launch. They can be like, it's the world's or the North America's first inverted launch. That's it's, true. You know, I mean, because it would basically be the same footprint as Green Lantern. We already know that something's going into Green Lantern, but we don't know yeah. whether it's unconfirmed. But um, we know that something is probably going to go there. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I just love it. I just love seeing the innovation. You know, I thought that, like I said, like the, the I can't remember what the, the coaster's called, but the one that's going into... Um, Park de Asterix in, in, in France, and then mm-hmm. Pantheon. Those are like kind of similar models. I thought that was Intamin pushing the limits, but you know, I, I love it. Uh, and they're, they're, they're power splashed kind of like. Um, yeah, that's also the one I was going to say. Should go to Six Flags, or Magic Mountain, because that those are women, the power splash is going to go there, but they should just, since it's not, they should do, they should take out like. No, oh, tidal wave. They should still take out tidal wave. They should get like a new water ride and a power slash shingle rail thing. Be pretty cool. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, because you've already got the um, you've already got the uh, the all the plumbing and like the lake and all that stuff that's already there for tidal wave. So you know that infrastructure would really make a uh, a new build of some sort of water ride like uh, ultimately cheaper, so you don't have to build new plumbing and. Mm. You know, <laughs> Structure. And I love the, the way that it looked too. It's like it was single rail, but not only was it single rail, it seemed like a single structure. Like, yeah, you know, there's no like support on the on the yeah bikes. There's just there's just like one. It's like holding itself. So I think it was doing that because <laughs> the if you look at the single the rail, it got like thicker at the bottom and then thinner at the top. Yeah, so I think it was like it was really holding pretty. itself. Open. It's like wow, that's one that had the little little bridge structure. I was like, oh, that's cool. Let's, let's, let's you know what? Fun. I I I'm um. Oh, I think we lost you. Oh, you're frozen on my end. Oh, okay. You're still good on my end. Can you hear me now? Oh, now you're frozen. Oh, geez. Oh boy. This is a cool screenshot page with nice pose. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, he's back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Oh, we'll, make a, good. we'll make an edit right there. <laughs> I don't know what the last thing you heard was. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, I heard something. What was the last thing I heard? You were about to say something. Okay, well, I'll, I'll just start. So just talk about, just talk about how it gets thick and then it gets to thinner. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. So yeah, it gets a little, it gets thick at the bottom and then thinner at the top. So it can um, like hold its own structure. And then I said the, the little bridge structure that they have. Yeah, yeah. Get wet. It looks nice. It's very pleasurable to look at. You will not only, yeah, it, it, looks, it looks really pretty. And I'll tell you what, I actually have made friends with somebody at the engineering firm that does all the Intamin rides. It's called uh, engineering um, company uh, Stengel. So basically Stengeling, Stengel Engineering. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I'm buddies with a guy over there, um, and so I'm going to reach out to him and ask him about that uh, that 
support structure and see if he lets me know yes, like, how that please works. get up a lot of my own enthusiast round table I would love to. He lives in Germany. I mean, I, I'd, I'd love his, his, his name is Andreas Wild. I'd love to try to get him on. Shout out to Andreas if he's watching. But uh, yeah, does he speak, yeah. uh, does he speak like, English? Yeah. He, yeah he speaks oh, English. So yeah, get on the table. Oh, that'd be <laughs> great. You'd be, you shoot to global international popularity right there. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm not, as, not as cool as having the wizard on board. Oh. But, <laughs> So what do you think about like um, what do you think about uh, all this stuff with uh, Universal, like the news with Universal? Oh man, Universal! I speaking of Universal though. Um, one question: Is the Velocicoaster is that an Intamin coaster? Is that oh it see is. yeah because that that looks great too. Speaking of Intamin, the the rock yeah. and the top hat and those inversions, I was like that looks wow. It's looking great there. I'm um, telling you, all you B&M people and RMC <laughs> people, come back to Intamin. <laughs> like, yeah, we're making like, quite the comeback. <laughs> and I, I know people used to say <laughs> Intamin goes like get rough after a while. But I think that's, if you like maintain them, they don't, they're like, like for example, the, one of the few Intamins out here, the, uh, the Incredicoaster, it's pretty smooth. So, you know, hey, it's know. your background. Right yeah, there, yeah, right there, Intamin. Look at shout out to Intamin. Maybe, well, maybe they can we can Intamin can sponsor the channel. Come on, Intamin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're shouting out big time here. But yeah, right. Universal. I hope they open soon. <laughs> I miss that yeah. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was uh, at the. I was hoping that um, <laughs> that Knott's Taste of Calico Food Fest will inspire other places to do the same. Oh, thing. that's right. Did you go to that? I did. It was yesterday. I went yesterday. It was fantastic. Boysenberry sausage, boysenberry mustard. It was my first boysenberry anything. And, <laughs> it. and it was so nice. They had like they. It was just like like a food festival. They had like some stores open, <laughs> the marketplace is open, and the front of the park. And they had uh, entertainment as well. Like the people would be on the the balconies of the ghost town, like the mayor, and there's this bank robber yeah, yeah. trying to rob the bank. And it was super cool. They had music and they had like a magic show for the children that, but while you're sitting at your table. So it was like social distancing was all in full effect. Felt yeah. super safe. Wasn't too empty, but wasn't too crowded. It was super, super cool. So I feel like I, all the other places. And also, they, because you know, like obviously it costs money to run the ride. So there's no rides, but the log right there. And it seemed to cost money to turn the flume on, but just for atmospheric reasons, they had the flume and the waterfall on. It oh, felt beautiful. so nice. And I was beautiful. like, hey, look at you, not it felt instead of just having this dry slide, it was like the waterfall yeah. and the water. And it was like so cool. So I'm hoping other theme parks look the same because it was really nice for 20 I mean, what a years. what a great idea. You know, it's kind of one of these things, it's like you know, I, it's not that I have my finger on the pulse of everything that's going on in the industry, but I kind of, that kind of came out of nowhere. It seemed like it surprised a lot of people when they announced that. So such a smart idea that, you know, it's kind of like a way to, um, you know, give those people who are just wanting some sort of experience in the park, mm -hmm. at least the park atmosphere, um, mm -hmm. a, a chance to come back. And yeah, I mean, heck, if, 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 a, if a Home Depot and a Lowe's can be open, why can't not berry farm, exactly. you know, for, you know social are, distance and stuff, you know. Exactly, yeah. those, are, those indoor stores are much more um, susceptible to getting sick if you're indoors with all those people yeah, at yeah, Home yeah. Depot. <laughs> so I just hope Universal does the same thing. It's funny because yeah. I did that rumor video mm -hmm. about Universal potentially doing the same thing, and then someone commented on that video. Well, I heard Knott's is going to do the same thing too, and I'm like, oh wow, I'm interesting. And then 24 hours later, Nantes announced their thing. I'm like, whoa, wow. that was fast. <laughs> nice. So let's make it happen here. So I think that Disneyland should do the same thing. I think that SeaWorld San Diego should do the same thing. Yeah. I think that Six Flags Magic Mountain should do the same thing. <laughs> you know, except Six Flags, I don't know. Yeah, I feel I like they so. can't. Well, I mean, I feel like they can, but I feel like it wouldn't be good. Sorry, Six Flags. Their food sucks. Yeah, I mean, it's getting a little bit better when they have their holiday in the park. You know, you, they kind of have that similar type of thing where they have the um, the little 
menu. I don't know. It's not really like a punch card, like at Knott's and, and, and Disneyland mm -hmm. or like, I should say uh, California adventure, but, mm -hmm. but they did have like, you know, something you pay, you prepay for, and then you go to the different places. It's like a specialized mm -hmm. item. And I had a couple of those. I mean, I didn't do the whole thing, but some of them were pretty good. I mean, I think that, I mean, who knows now that the new CEO is a guy that comes from, you know, PepsiCo, which is, you know, a, a very large beverage and, and food distributor. Uh, hopefully they might start seeing some importance in, um, you know, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's gonna happen overnight, but mm -hmm. you know. You wow. Know. Wait, so the, the new CEO is from Pepsi. Yeah. The new, the new CEO of Six Flags is, was a Pepsi, uh, Pepsi, um, executive. I, I can't remember if he was the CEO. That's like perfect. Something. Cause that's all the advertisements to see in the park, all about Pepsi. <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, if they switched to Pepsi, I'd be a happy guy. It's all Coke right now, but <laughs> oh yeah, Coke. Yeah, you know, it's all good. You gotta place. go to you gotta go to Hollywood Holiday World if you want to get your Pepsi. It's like the free refills. Pepsi. Holiday. Where's that? Indiana. That's in Indiana. Yeah. Indiana. And when, wait, when did the new CEO come into Six Flags? This year, like um. Which, oh wow, the, he's new, new. Yeah. So funny story. Um, you know, we're all, you know, we're always going over to um. Magic Mountain to check out the progress of West Coast Racers and the Underground when it was being built. Mm -hmm. Well, I happened to be there one day um, and the just filming just an update. I mean, the Underground had opened, mm -hmm. uh, the the taco stand had opened. I don't think it, I think it had opened up to the Twin Charge taco stand, but you couldn't go all the way through over by the go karts yet. And vice versa. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. But um, I'm I'm there and just you know just there filming an update, and all of a sudden I kind of hear these mumblings that. The, the, the president of Six Flags was going to be there to ride West Coast Racers with uh, mm -hmm. Neil Thurman. And I was like, oh, okay. And, and then someone said, oh, it's the new guy. And I'm like, oh, the new, oh, that's right. Because the old guy, I shouldn't say, oh, that's wrong. The previous, <laughs> the previous guy had, um, had left. And so, you know, I wasn't able to get it on video, but I did see them ride. And I was trying to scramble to get my phone out, but I did see him oh, go around for so a test. Cool. And then what, what the cool part is, is like when he got off, mm -hmm. He and Neil Thurman went over to Twin Charge Tacos to get some food, and I was in the line right in front of them. So me being no fear or shame, I just turned around and said, "Hello, Neil. Hello, what's your name?" And he, I think his name is Michael. And he, you know, I just introduced myself to him, and I shook. I said, "Hey, how's the ride? Am I going to enjoy it when it opens?" And just chatted with him for a little bit. It was pretty mm -hmm. cool to shake the hands and say hi to the the president of Six Flags Corporation. Yeah, that's cool. Super chill guy. Super chill Man. guy. Very nice person. And so that's my. My now, next time you see him, he's like, get on my round table. <laughs> oh, that'd, right? That'd be so cool. Or cool with everybody. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's super. So they were right in line. Did they buy you food? He didn't buy me food. But, uh, <laughs> but he did shake Did you my buy hand. him cool. food? <laughs> no, I should have offered. No, he could. He got, I, feel he like he, I feel like he got it for free. Yeah. yeah he got it for free. <laughs> I would have been like, I would have made the offer. Like, hey, I want to buy you some food. Oh, I like get it for free, but thank you for the offer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's, see, that's smart. That's smart. I should have thought about that. So let me buy you like a, a churro or something. If I <laughs> then you're like number one on his list, number one fan. Then you'll be like, now you have an email, a, a, a Six Flags is publicity. Can I get a media pass for this? And then you like, <laughs> oh, I remember that guy. Give well, him one. Give him one. <laughs> we, uh, hopefully. I mean, I'll be going down to Texas uh, in about two, three weeks um we're going down there to go to six flags over texas and i know that's where the corporate headquarters is and so oh yeah like right there maybe i'll knock on the door i don't know <laughs> so what are you excited for this potential arm seat raptor to come to the park well which which park are we talking about magic mountain uh raptor as in i think you mean like arm seat as in twisted colossus is that what you're talking about <laughs> arm seat as in like a Jersey Devil clone. I heard nothing about this. What are you talking about? <laughs> so those, oh, those he's winking. He's winking. He's I, excited. I, I I denounce any rumor that has not been officially announced by the park. True, true. Now, can you really call it a rumor when you can get on the LA County assess a permit site and see the permit? I know nothing about this, but I'll talk about <laughs> I'll talk about Jersey Devil clone all day. I mean the Jersey Devil original coaster. Um, yeah, what do you think about the Jersey Devil original? I coaster? think it's going to be. Do you great. think it'll be like because it's bigger? So do you think it'll be like not as intense as like the smaller Raptors? That's kind of hard to say. You know, 
the, the small Raptor that I did ride, it, it was intense. And I don't know if it was because of its footprint that made it intense. I, I mean, a, a, the obvious answer is, well, of course I did. But <laughs> I, I think it's just the way that you took the turns mm -hmm. and it was so fast is what made it so fun to me. Um, I, I think that Jersey Devil Coaster will be, I think it'll be just as intense. I really do. I just think it's going to be longer ride. Uh, I, I know I saw that has a mid-course break. Do you think they'll like ruin it, the experience, or do you think it'll just go, just kind of put a tiny break and then it'll still be just as intense? Here, let me explain block break zones. No, I don't tell right. <laughs> No, <laughs> no um, I, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. I mean, I get why they did it um, for capacity, <laughs> sure, but... Um, no. I don't know because I mean, look at still like a ride like Steel Vengeance that has that, that big long um, uh, uh, mid course breaks and it doesn't break it at all. I mean, at least the times that I rode it, I didn't even feel a trim or anything. It yeah, like, some people, some of them, they just have it, but they don't really turn it on. So it just makes sense. So I could. Well, yeah, I think they have it just so that, you know, if yeah, they just need to add another train. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it should be fun. I mean, I, I, I don't know. It's it, it. I don't think they started up working on it again. But boy, they were getting it up really quickly, and then it had to shut down. But um, what was the one you did road? Was it the one here in Northern California? Yeah, Railblazer is the only one I've ridden so far, uh, and it was great. I mean, it was <laughs> that like, thing looks like it goes like five hundred miles per hour. It's like I'm like wow, that thing doesn't stop. That's crazy. It's so fun to watch. It's got wonderful it's like almost perfect viewing angles from the entire thing because it's like right in the, it's like there's a walkway all around it oh, and it, it 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 doesn't feel like it's going super fast and i've got to be careful with the way i say this because yes it is going fast and i'm saying it feels like it goes slow it just it just it does it feels like it doesn't take a break is what i'm saying yeah it, it doesn't it almost feels like it doesn't take a break just over in the blink of an eye, because you just get. I feel like you wouldn't. I feel like you get off and like, whoa, what just happened? At a yeah, great time, like, what just happened? It didn't feel too short either. To me, it just it it you gave you came up and I just started laughing. Like, um, <laughs> like uh, the thing is one of those things is like I'm I'm so bad at I I do watch POVs and I do research on rides that I haven't ridden before because I'm yeah I me know, too. I, I know I shouldn't, but <laughs> uh, but I do anyway. But it's again one of these rides where. Um, even though I've watched millions of POVs on it and watched people's reviews on it, there were still elements of it that surprised me. Even though oh, I, oh what yeah, because I mean, nothing's really like writing something because like some yeah. the video really doesn't do something justice. So it's like, you know, something some the videos sometimes make things look slow or like slower, and then when you yeah. see it in real life, like whoa, that's like. And I beautiful. did. I did write it in the back row because I was told that was what's is what's crazy. And it was, mm -hmm. it was, it was great. And it wasn't as crazy as I thought it was going to be. Like I thought I was going to come off like sick and dizzy or whatever. Not at all. It's just so it was, it's a lot of fun. If, if anybody has a chance to ride a Raptor. And so the one either at uh, Fiesta, Texas or up at uh, uh, CGA or the new one that's going to be coming to South Dakota in the middle of nowhere, uh, go check <laughs> him out because it's, it's great. So, I would be open to Six Flags Magic Mountain receiving one, but uh, I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I, all I know is that Six Flags Great Adventure has got that Jersey Devil coaster, so we'll see. Oh, yes, they're popping up everywhere, the Raptors. Where is the T? Where's the first T Rex going to go? Which state? Which country? That's hard to say. I really want to say it's probably going to be a Cedar Fair. I don't know why, but I, I, think, it, I think it will be. But so Cedar Bush Point. Gardens? Bush Gardens has really been kind of stepping it up a lot lately too. So oh yeah, Bush Gardens know. they have the iron iron quasi over there. Yeah, and so the I don't thing. know. I, I I you know I would love it for it to go to Magic Mountain. Obviously, you know we we need another Magic Mountain. Really could use another really solid hyper coaster like a like a Candemonium mm -hmm. clone or something like that. Or a, a Giga. I mean, I think that, I mean, don't get me wrong, Goliath is great for what it is. I just think that there's room, and Kings Island is showing this. Kings Island is proving that there's room to have two, you know, kind of big coasters, you know, like with, with, with their uh, Diamondback and um, mm -hmm. Orion. Um, I would love Six Flags to get another, uh, just like a big, like a big one. 
And that leads to my next question. What next coaster type would you like to see coming to the Six Flags? Well, a giga coaster. Well, a giga or a, big or a, coaster. Or a really good B&M Hyper. Um, I would love, look, I would love for, okay, here's, my, here's my ultimate, okay. I've got two ultimate dreams with Six Flags Magic Round. Here we go. <laughs> um, one would be, and Neil Thurman did say he's open to this. Uh, a, we've got a really awesome Intamin at the park, which is Superman Escape from Krypton. It's a great ride. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. But just like with everything, like Splash Mountain and all these sort of things, things can change, you mm -hmm. know? And I think that's only natural, and I think that's fine. I know some people whose hearts would be broken if, if uh, Escape from Krypton was refurbished and made different. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's this is progression. I would love, so Intamin built that ride. I would love for Intamin to come back in, use the existing track mm -hmm. structure, support structure, as just support structure and put new track on top of that mm -hmm. and make some sort of massive strata like, like, a, like a closed circuit type of coaster it just yeah. kind of launches up and comes back there down. was yeah there was a you know there was a survey about that um you know that was circulating not too long ago what people thought yeah i remember that, that. And it I wasn't even like an animation someone make an animation of what yeah it was a really like. poor animation but yeah, it, they had it like a, a non-inverting top hat, no, an inverted top hat at the very top and coming back down. Well, here's the thing. They have two Intamins on the top of that hill. The mm -hmm. other Intamin being the observation tower. Intamin mm -hmm. built that. And that observation tower can't do anything right now because of California codes. Mm -hmm. But it's got a nice support structure that could support track on it. it so you say like, you have it go up move. one side, come back down, <laughs> have it come and do like a big wave turn or something like that, but hooked onto that. I think you could make a massive centerpiece. So that's my one thing I would love for them to do. Two, I would love for them to make an entrance coaster, like a big hyper or giga that has some sort of element that goes right over that, that entrance. Oh yeah, coaster. almost like how Gatekeeper goes over the Cedar Right, point. something very similar. I think that Six Flags Magic Mountain could really benefit from that. And there is space for it because there are, are a lot of picnic pavilions right by mm -hmm. X2 and kind of over by, um, behind the kids area, there mm -hmm. are some picnic pavilions that could still stay in place, but they could sure put a lot of footers and stuff there. Yeah, you know, and also Six Flags should get a, a nice new entrance, you know, it's kind of. Yeah, or a second yeah. entrance. Or a, a second, second entrance, entrance yeah. over by Twisted Colossus, because that walk yeah. and the shuttles just don't run as often as they should. I think yeah, the I was sitting entrance on the, the shuttle for 20 minutes one time. I'm like, I could have just walked this. Why am I sitting here? Yeah. Right. And it was just about the time for it's like <laughs> it was getting close uh, before the park closed. I'm like, hmm, they're really jam packing all these people in this bus. I don't know how safe I feel in here. <laughs> but yeah. they really was sitting here for like 20 minutes. I'm like, I could just walk this thing. Up. I, and I ran to the bus thinking, oh, it's going to leave soon. And then thinking, well, don't they have like 10 more? They can just. It was weird. But yeah, second entrance. So this is pretty big, kind of like by the employee entrance. They have like another guest type of entrance. But yeah, right by that screen punk entrance. They can really make the park lot. They uh, overflow lots, the dirt lot over there anyway. So it'll be much better. Six I think so too. Listen up. See, this is why I have to be friends with the CEO because you could have been <laughs> texting him this information right now. Like, hey, I got some ideas. <laughs> like, don't, don't worry about the cost. Don't worry about the cost. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry about it. I got some ideas. But I think you're right about them needing a nice new entrance. Now, I like the the iconic weird art structure, that white inner tray. Yeah, I like that. Whatever the that actual, is. Just the ticket booths or the actual like booths themselves. Like, just kinda, yeah. Eh, and I think an entrance coaster could really just make a big statement. I know that, you know, X2, when you're driving up, makes that nice first statement. But... Can you imagine as you're driving in and walking in and you just see, you know, I don't know, some sort of big wave turn or, or mm -hmm. something just right there. That would be legit. That would be legit. Yeah, because it's so big because X2 is like only covers that first turn before you've been in the parking lot. So that way, yeah, another parking. And then you have Twisted Colossus. So you have just one more right in the middle. There's room. It's like, There's room. Boom, boom, boom. Right. Like a rainbow coaster, just arch, arch is a way. Yeah, let's get uh, let's get coaster rider Luke <laughs> who designed Luke, a rainbow. Come coaster. here, come on, let's get you to design that one over the entrance. That'd be sweet, man. And so, what type of coaster do you want to see at Knott's Bay Farm and SeaWorld San Diego next? Mm -hmm. mm. 
I don't know how much you speak. With Knots people. is is a tricky situation because they're sort of landlocked, um, mm -hmm. and I'd say sort of landlocked because yes, there is that road to the north that mm -hmm. is a major road, but they own that big lot on the other side, and they've proven with with Ghost Rider you can make it go over the road. You know. Oh yeah, okay. I, I was looking at Ghost Rider walking to the parking lot and taste the cabs, and I was like, wow, this thing goes up and back over so three times right here it's like one two three I'm like that's cool. yeah so i think the north on the north end kind of over by where coaster rider is and mm -hmm. if they don't bring back uh the, the new uh giga splash but uh, <laughs> i think there could be another coaster there that eventually goes over the road and into their north parking lot um which i've never ever seen used. i'm sure it is used get in the mm -hmm. comments you make fun of me it's fine i don't think <laughs> super close to my cherry farm i don't know but every time i've been there i haven't really ever seen that being used why not use it for some sort of coaster? And what kind of coaster could it be? Ooh, I think Knott's Berry Farm could use a hyper coaster. Oh, you know, that'd be nice. That'd because be nice. what's their tallest coaster? I mean, obviously it would be Accelerator. Yeah, I think it's Accelerator. Accelerator. And uh, how, how much how tall is it? Like two hundred. I don't. I don't 150? know. No, I think it's. I think it's more than one hundred fifty feet. But uh, Google search. <laughs> Drew from Parks Bros. When you're watching this, let us know. He yeah, knows. Drew. Uh, Accelerator. But I, I think if they got like a really nice, like a candemonium, you know, um, I think that would be a perfect fit for Knott's Berry Farm. I know it'd kind of be hard to find the room, but I think that. Uh, Canada, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Candemonium. That would be like, I feel like that'd have to go like across the whole park. That would be kind of cool. It'd be like a massive. Something, yeah. I mean, I think I think they could do it. I, I I think that would be really great. And you know, uh, let's see. In SeaWorld San Diego, I know that there's like rumors for them getting like they're replacing Wild Arctic with some sort of like launch. Yeah, the multi-launch. Yeah, multi. I think it's really something like Wave Breaker at SeaWorld San Diego. Yeah, yeah, which will be a great fit. You know, and I know that's a little tricky. Uh, San Diego, SeaWorld San Diego is tricky because of the um, Coastal Commission has a lot of uh, sway in what they can build and how high they can build it. So yeah. it's kind of there's, harder there's to... like four sites where they can go above 100 feet and the rest is like under 30 feet. Yeah, so it's kind of tricky with them. Um, but, you know, Alton Towers has the same issue. So, I mean, if they can make some world-class coasters, so can you know, SeaWorld San Diego. And I mm. like the coasters there. And I really like that they're focusing more on, you know, opening thing. So they got their dive coaster that's going to be opening hopefully whenever SeaWorld opens. So Emperor mm -hmm. is done. Uh, this new multi-launch, um, if they ever fix uh, Tidal Twister. Oh yeah, poor Tidal Twister. <laughs> uh, I, you know what would be cool? They probably will never, they will probably never, ever, ever, ever get permission to do this. But you know they have that one uh, chairlift kind of ride that goes out over the bay and come oh, back. Oh yeah, make like but a coaster if, over there. If you could make a coaster that goes over the water, that would be really cool. I know they probably would never get approved, but that would be like a launch coaster where you launch over the water and then into an inversion and kind of loop around. Like it can be, it can surround the chairlift, right? Yeah, something like that. And obviously, it would have to be a launch coaster. I mean, I, I really can't see them doing anything other than a launch coaster. Oh, you know what? No, I'm going to take it back. Ready? I know exactly what it's going to do. That won't be a launch coaster. They should get that, um, the Chance Arrow, what's it called? The Hyper GTX model that's at Kentucky, Kentucky Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They should get oh, one yeah. of those and have it go over the water. And they could call it like a shark or something. Like, like they could call like it like... Like Mako. Yeah, or, or, you know, a hammerhead or... or um, hammerhead, yeah, hammerhead. Or, yeah, something... I, because like everybody who's ridden that ride, I haven't ridden it yet, but everybody says, why have more parks not bought this model? So I think SeaWorld San Diego is probably the perfect place for that model and have it go over the bay. <laughs> yeah, that was so cool. A bay coaster. Like, yeah. Come on, California Coastal Commission. Come on. Yeah, if we make it, maybe if they like somehow are able to make it like carbon neutral, maybe they could get permission to, to build it or something. Oh, yeah. It's an environmental coaster. Yeah. Because somehow like clean sea trash as it goes around somehow. <laughs> it picks up the trash as the support structures and suck the trash in and then 
Oh, that'd be pretty cool because the poor sisters suck trash and then they dump it. It's a suction that dumps yeah, it into the main. Yeah, there you go. Oh, innovate. Come on, Intamin. Make it. <laughs> or, or Chance Morgan. Let's do it. Or Chance Morgan. Be innovative. Make some environmentally friendly coasters, man. Yeah. And what lastly it, here, when do you, what's your best guesstimate of to when these West Coast, or at least California theme parks will reopen? Wow, that's a really hard question. And, I, and you know why. I mean, people who are not in California, you're all going through your own thing. I know, I know that. So we're not trying to say we're worse than anybody else, but it's, with here it's like things are like open and then like within a second they're closed again yeah and uh, you know it's kind of hard to say and um only because i know that you know if like say for example like halloween horror nights is is been canceled i mean that's yeah. not even you know and i get i get that they had to you know had to have been working on them way sooner to, for to get them an open time so, i mean i understand that but if things are already being canceled for halloween you know, and it's here it is, it's just still July, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. holy cow, you know, and, and uh, yes, and can things change for the better instantly? Sure, sure they can. It's just, it's really kind of hard to quantify that with a good answer. Um, I don't know, like a part of me, a part of me feels like they may not even open this year. Ooh, 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 look at that ambitious statement. Well, because here's the thing. Every condition that could be met, and I'm just going to speak for Six Flags Magic Mountain for right now. Mm -hmm. Like there's, in my, in my personal opinion, there's no reason why they shouldn't be open right now because it's a very open park, you mm -hmm. know, you could social distance. That's definitely the most open out of all the theme parks here. They have like only one indoor ride. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've got you've got uh, other parks around the country that have shown a system that can be effective with the social mm -hmm. distancing markers and you know uh, cast members you know being enforced and, and having the masks and, and cleansing things down. You know, there's there's there are systems in place that could work. I mean, it, and it should work. And it, because it's so bloody hot up in Valencia, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think that, you know, there, it, it, and I have to be really careful because I don't want to get people getting mad at me or mad at your channel because people, there are people out there and you know, you're there who mm -hmm. listen and waiting for every single dissect, every single word <laughs> that you're saying. So I have to be careful. But what I'm saying is Magic Mountain should have and does have every single resource that it would need to open safely. Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. But they're not open yet because they're not allowed to um, from, and that's from the, just from the, the governor of, of the state. Um, Disneyland is a different beast because I know that they're dealing with like their uh, cast member unions and things like that. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't get me started about unions, but uh, you know, <laughs> I, I, I can understand that one a little more because it's like, it's more than not just being able to do it safely because they can, I mean, other Disney parks are doing it, um, you know, and, and look, uh, but, but Hong Kong has, has, you know, gone back down again, mm -hmm. but you know, they, they've been able to do it. And, and again, you know, I think everything's in place, but you have to deal with the, with the, with the unions, which is a different animal. Mm -hmm. Knott's Berry Farm, I think they're itching. I think if there was going to be one that opens first, it would be Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah, because they're almost like halfway open now. They're skirting, they're the they, they are skirting like, and flirting with like, danger there. Yeah, like if they're I, open I, the rides, they would basically be open. So I feel like they're like already halfway open. <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, and like Legoland, and I don't want to forget Legoland because that's another one of our parks here. In Southern oh, California. yeah, I forgot about Legoland. <laughs> oh, my internet went down. Oh, oh am I back. back? Can you, can you hear me? Okay. Good. Yes. Um, Legoland. My my mother-in-law works at at Legoland, so I can't forget about that because she's not working right now because you know they're not open. Mm -hmm. Um, I think Legoland. Yeah, I just don't see him opening. I mean, they just opened up a new uh, hotel, and then they had to close it down. They just opened it was like the Castle Hotel, and mm -hmm. I don't think that they can operate it right now. And Boy, it's really hard to say. It's SeaWorld San Diego. 
SeaWorld San Diego seems like it could open just like say like Magic Mountain, like it's very open. Um, mm-hmm. They're a very safe park anyway because they're dealing with marine life. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll tell you, every time I've been to SeaWorld San Diego, it's like spotless there. It's all I've yeah, always felt like clean, clean, and, clean and and you know, and you've got the coastal air right there, which is nice, and mm-hmm. it just seems like a healthy place anyway. Um, mm-hmm. it, to, to, yeah, SeaWorld San Antonio is open, right? Yeah, it yes, is. yeah, SeaWorld San Antonio, and also the Orlando. one in Orlando is open as well. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say, and San Diego is a little bit different than LA County. I'm going to say if one does open, I'm going to say SeaWorld San Diego opens first. Because mm-hmm. the um, Safari Park is, has been open for um, a month with reservations. And that's still it's been pretty good. And that's a large yeah. open zoo as well. So. Right. So I'm going to say they open first. Um, when are they going to open? I don't know. I'm, I don't know. In fact, uh, I wonder if you know, <laughs> San Diego, I wonder if Steve will do something similar to not for so open just the park, but no rides initially until the theme park got come. But like the zoo port, they can go look at the animals and like this because the other zoos are open in San Diego County. So I wonder if Steve can do something like that. Great point. Uh that's uh Six Flags Discovery Kingdom up in northern yeah. California. It's open They're for their animals it, yeah. as well. So Great point. I, I, so yeah, my money's going to be on uh, SeaWorld opening first. I think Knott's is itching. Uh, Disneyland, I think Disneyland would have been open already if it had not been for the dispute. Yeah, because they um, had the social deal on the 17th, but, you know, the guidelines. Um, and Universal, to Universal, uh, when I, well, when you went, yeah, you yeah. saw you, they have the tapes down the radio, and the lower lot, like, well, the studio portion is open for filming and production. So they're just like, so it's two out of three That's true. that is open. That's true. I don't know. I may, I may, yeah, maybe maybe Universal will be second. Like, ooh, maybe. I feel like they're all, they're all like, so they're all, uh, some of them are really itching to get there. Just, you know, yeah. Final but, step. Oh. I, final. I, I, I really do. I'm going to put it out there right now. And if I'm wrong, then okay. But I'm going to say that they don't open until like, January. Like, ooh, I hope one. Well, yeah. <laughs> At first, you'd be like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. But then you look and it's already August. And like, oh, next year's only, what, four months away or something already. Like, that's, it's, it's flying by. It's crazy. It's, yeah, so, you know, that's why uh, we have to responsibly and safely travel elsewhere to ride coasters. Have you been able to go anywhere, ride anything, Ethan? I have not. But my friend, actually, who lives in Arkansas, um, Snapchat me saying she's at Worlds of Fun riding the their coasters and the rap. I'm like, oh, yeah, you lucky, lucky duck. You should go out there. <laughs> like, and uh, apparently you can't. I, yeah, she filmed on her. She snapped out on the raft ride, and they yelled at her. I'm like, oh, why wow, you can't film on the raft ride over there? I'm like, wow, that's kind of strict. <laughs> but um, but I was like, wow, because you know she said it's hot over there. So I'm like, you lucky. There are so many times I've been over outside. I'm like, man, I wish we could get on Grizzly River Run right now or some jet stream or some kind of water ride because it's hot over here now <laughs> yeah it's it's been it's been brutal and you know like uh especially the last couple of weeks you know I'm, i live right next to magic mountain and yeah, and valencia that gets really it hot it's like hot. it was like 100 90s and hundreds i think it was like 109 sometime last week i was like oh ouch ac <laughs> better be running all the way yeah well i got a fan on right now <laughs> but uh <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's funny, like, I, I, I was able to go to Wisconsin Dells uh, back last month to ride at Mount Olympus, the coasters at Mount Olympus, which was great. Mm-hmm. And then I've got this trip planned to um, Six Flags Over Texas um, the, uh, on August 11th is when I'm going to go down there and ride those. Um, so I'm excited for that. And then I'm going to actually going to be in Michigan starting. Michigan's Adventure? Not open. Oh. Not open. The uh, the water park is open, but the roller coasters aren't open. So I'm oh, actually going to be right there in Muskegon. I'm going to be there next week, starting on the uh, whenever this comes out. Maybe this is in the past, but I'll be there um, July 27th through August 5th. So I'm going to be in Michigan all over. I'm going there for work, and I'm going to try to hit up some smaller little places. You know, I went on to like RCDV and like. <laughs> found like like these small little like minor mics and stuff like yes, that. Put them all on theme park ERT. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna definitely uh see if I can hit some of these smaller ones up. Um 
I'll be driving. I actually going to be working in Muskegon twice uh, two, uh, for two days. And like, I'll just be looking at Michigan's adventure going, huh, oh, well. <laughs> and I, and I, the thing is, I've, I've allowed myself at least one day to try to get to a big park. I don't know if it'll work or not, but I'm going to see if I can go to Kings Island. I'm going to try. Well, how far like is that one? Hours. It's like six hours Seriously? away. Oh, uh, wow. Cedar, Cedar Point is closer, but I went to Cedar Point last year. Not that I shouldn't go two times in a row, but I just, I, if, if I'm going to, I'd like to go to a new park. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I was looking at, um, and if Six Flags Great, uh, Great America was open, you know, I would, I would go there, but it's not open. But uh, mm-hmm. um, I was looking into going to uh, Kings Island, Holiday World, or Six Flags St. Louis, or going up to Green Bay and riding Zip and Pippin. But they're all like eight hours, six hours, <laughs> eight hours away. And I only have one day. So I'm like, what do I do? I may not even end up going at all. I don't know. Yeah, like wow, that's a that's a time crunch right there. Yeah, because like what what it would have to be? It have to be like, I'd have to drive at night, drive all night, get there, and like maybe sleep in the car, uh, and you know the morning of and get you know, and then once I whatever I leave, then I'd have to like again drive all night. Back yeah. To Chicago. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll see. That's tough. Tune in. The Embark ERT, you'll see where I end up. <laughs> Tune in. You'll see he'll vlog his journey as daily journey starting August, July 27th. Tune in and mm-hmm. subscribe. Are you going to vlog your daily, daily journey? I, I think I might because it's like a new interesting job that, that I'm taking. It's going to have me like basically everywhere above Saginaw, Michigan, but not over the Mackinac Bridge. So like Sheboygan, between Sheboygan and Saginaw, that's where I'm going to be. Oh, Traverse wow. City, all the way over to Alpena. I'm going to be all over the place. Um, For a week so, only. Like nine days, yeah. Oh, so, wow. We'll... Interesting. That's cool stuff. <laughs> well, well. Thank you for joining the ambassador on this lovely theme park wizard channel. Go follow him on Instagram. Or follow theme park ERT on Instagram. Yeah. And Twitter. And I don't know what else we have. YouTube. We've got, we have a Facebook, but it doesn't do much. Um, <laughs> same with our Twitter. Uh, John Days Can Blaze is one who runs the Instagram channel. So check us out on Instagram. We've got some good content up there. Um, and uh, yeah, just check us out on YouTube. Uh, consider subscribing. We, um, yeah, we're trying to get a new round table out each well, at least every other week right now, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we've got a fun, some, some fun shows coming up. We've got some local guys that I'm going to be having on uh, our next show and then putting together a, an international show. So we'll, uh, Ooh. we'll see if it happens. So. You're going to feature the German dude from Intamin? Not yet. It's going to be some, uh, some fellas from over the pond. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. tune in for all that because I sure will. <laughs> and I give this video a massive two thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome updates and have a fantastic day.